Located in the Belvedere community on the outskirts of Moran Bay in St. Thomas is the Goodyear factory, built in 1967. In 1995, production of the radial tire passenger line discontinued. Two years later, in 1997, the company transitioned exclusively into marketing and sales. In 1997, 30 years after the factory was constructed, the Goodyear plant closed its doors. Despite efforts being made to utilize the property, 20 years later, this is its current state. 24 acres of prime real estate just waiting to be used up. And it's prime space, as is available at Goodyear, that the operators of the Moran Bay Community College, located on the outskirts of the town in the Hope and Company complex, are in need of. The educational facility, which focuses on primary, high school and college students, operates in approximately 560 square feet of space. Located in the same complex is the administrative office of the St. Thomas Municipal Corporation, occupying approximately 4,200 square feet of space. Upstairs, occupying similar space, is the National Water Commission, while the Jamaica Public Service Company occupies approximately 3,000 square feet of space. A major challenge for their customers, especially the elderly, is accessing the offices they need to climb two flights of stairs. On the opposite side of the Hope and Company complex is the Rum Store Plaza, which houses the tax office as well as a farm store. The tax office is housed in approximately 3,500 square feet of space, but its customers also face a challenge, being forced to wait under a tent because there is simply insufficient space for them inside. Their waiting area is the car park, which doubles as a loading area for taxis. Located in the town of Moran Bay is the post office, a national commercial, a Scotia, and a Jamaica National Bank. Also in the heart of the town is the Moran Bay Market. Customers using the facility park their vehicles on the side of the road, which makes it even more challenging for vehicles trying to maneuver the narrow streets. No longer in use since the fire of 2007, but the old Morant Bay Courthouse remains one of the historical features of the town. Not far away at Church Corner is the building now being used to house the courthouse, an area which often experienced flooding. Also taking up space in the town is the abandoned National Works Agency NAA offices. The new NAA offices are located on the outskirts of the town. The Maris Plaza is home to at least four government offices, the Electoral Office of Jamaica, the Passport, Citizenship and Immigration Agency PICA, the Justice Ministry, the Road and Works Section of the St. Thomas Municipal Corporation, as well as some private companies, including a grocery shop and an insurance company. A bird's eye view of Morant Bay, St. Thomas, a town with rich history, but very little space for its people.